What's up guys, this week I'm making a homemade version of the original sauce kit. If you want to see how this is made, stay tuned and I'll be glad to show you. So I'm going to start by cutting out my 3 quarter inch PVC pipe into 12 sections that are 10 inches long. And for that I'm going to be using a ratcheting PVC pipe cutter. This works great because it doesn't leave any dust behind, it just cuts right through and makes a clean cut. So let's go ahead and cut this piece up. So I got all my pieces cut, now what I want to do is go ahead and assemble it so I'll get something that looks like this. Assembly is pretty easy, you need 6 10 inch pieces and 6 90 degree elbows. Basically what you do is take any piece, put these elbows on here, you're going to want to use a mallet when it, you're all done lightly assembling it, but for the sake of this I'll just pop it in, and then I want to go one here, one on this side. I need two more elbows, and this is going to be the front, elbow there, elbow here, and then two posts on each side, and then an elbow, and another elbow, and then connect it on the top. Now once you get it like this, you want to go ahead and take a mallet and pound all these in so all these joints are connected. But what we can do now is go ahead and uh, spray paint both of these. So while my PVC pipe is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and take my half inch sheet of plywood and I'm gonna go ahead and cut two 12 and a half by 12 and a half squares over on my table saw. So now I have two pieces that are 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Now I want to cut another two pieces that are 12 and a half by 9 inches. So after thinking about it for a little, I'm actually going to add a 2x4 to my materials list. You don't need much of it, I just have some scrap pieces here. All you need in total is about 18 inches, and I'm going to go ahead and cut two 9 inch pieces. You'll see why I'm using a 2x4 for this instead of plywood like I was originally going to do. But let's go ahead and cut these and then I'll show you what I'm talking about when I get to the assembly of the wood portion. So I have all my pieces of wood cut and hopefully you can see why I wanted to use a 2x4 instead now. The main reason is because it's thicker and it's more bulky so when I put it on here instead of a half inch piece that'd be really thin to have right here, it'd be hard to connect it. So this is going to give me more room to connect it to this bottom plate. I can center it on the inside of here and I'm going to glue and screw at the bottom here so it holds it in place. Then what I can do from there is go ahead use my hinges and hinge on this front piece. It will just swing up and I'll be able to close it when I'm all done. So let's go ahead, screw this to the bottom plate here, paint both of these pieces black, and then go ahead, add the hinges, the nets, and all that other good stuff. So now it comes time to connect the PVC portion to the wooden portion and for that I'm just going to be using two bolts. These are two and a half inches long and they're a quarter inch wide. So I'm going to go ahead and do one on each side. I'm going to drill the holes but I'm not actually going to connect it quite yet. 
because I wanna add the net with zip ties before I do that. And if I connect it right now, I'm not gonna be able to get the zip ties around this bottom area. So let's go ahead and drill these holes though. So I have my net cut to the general size. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and take some zip ties, attach it around the whole thing, and then from there I'm gonna trim off the extra net. So let's go ahead and get working on this. So now I have the net all strung on here. I tried to get it as good as I can, but it's a lot harder than it looks. So um, maybe if you can do a better job of this, you'll probably make your thing look a lot nicer. But all in all, I think it came out pretty good. So let's go ahead, put the bolts on now. And I can just go ahead, take some washers, two washers here, and then take two bolts or nuts, I should say, and thread them onto the, uh, the bolts. So I got the Velcro in place on the top and bottom. Now when I close it up, it locks nice. Then I can just go ahead and take it down. And then I have a free flap down. So all in all, I think this came out really good. Let's go ahead and take both of them outside and give them a test. So once you get your nets all bolted down, then you're all set to go. Take it outside and we're gonna go ahead and give it a few tests here in a minute. But first, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I post new woodworking videos almost every Tuesday. So uh, let's go ahead and just see how well these work. <laughs> 